Uh, I, I remember five days in, I was sitting in front of the fireplace and I was broken. That ankle injury had shot up into my shin. I was filled with inflammation. I was in a lot of pain. And I looked at Sonny and I said, I'm staring down the barrel of 95 more days and I'm, and I'm broken. A hundred days is such a long time. Let a quarter of a year pass and then imagine swimming, biking and running in the freezing cold every day. I'm about to do a hundred full distance triathlons, 2.4 miles of swimming, 112 miles of biking, 26.2 mile run. Shoot, I forgot what an Ironman felt like. <laughs> Saddle up, this is gonna be real. I'm trying to find out what my limits are. I'm trying to push the boundaries of what others have done. Redefine hard, bitches. He is in so much pain, I can see tears in his eyes. It's 100% physical and it's 100% mental. Anybody can do anything. Fitness determines how hard it is and how slowly or how quickly you recover. When you're the first to do anything of this magnitude, you have to know why you're doing what you're doing. We are extremely blessed. I get to choose if I'm gonna take the next step or not. But a lot of people don't choose the level of suffering, adversity, or challenges that they have in their lives. I realize that my willingness to suffer intentionally gives people courage on their journey. One of the craziest things I've ever seen. He was pretty much blacking out on his feet. Is this even possible? We are choosing to go out there. 